In Project Zomboid, your objective is to survive the zombie apocalypse. The odds are stacked against you, and survival is an exercise in patience. For new players, it's a challenge to make it through the first day, and an even bigger challenge to make it through the first week. Hey, how are ya? It's Nurse. Welcome back. In this video, I'll be sharing my techniques to make it through the first week in Project Zomboid, starting off on day one. Okay, hopefully we spawn somewhere nice. Looks like we spawned in a trailer. Could be worse. All right, first things first, let's turn on this TV and tune into Life and Living so we can passively gain experience. Now we're gonna head to the kitchen and get ourselves a weapon. We have a bread knife here, good. We're gonna equip that and put the second one in our belt. Let's grab this empty bowl and this empty mug and one can opener, because I saw briefly a canned tuna. Now we're gonna fill this uh, empty mug with water. And as you can see, I'm, I'm gaining cooking experience just by being next to the TV. And we have can of oats here. We have some coffee and tea bags. And that's the sound of me leveling up my cooking skill. But we have beef jerky in the fridge and ice cream. Okay, anything else? Nothing else on this side. Okay, let's hit click here. Oh, a dead mouse. That's delicious. Okay, let's get this canned tuna. What I can do is I can right click this empty bowl and create a bowl of oatmeal. Eat some oatmeal. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious. This uh, stove. Let's turn on the stove. Let's hit five minutes. I'm going to put this dead mouse in there. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to go over here and explore the rest of the house. What's over here? We have advanced foraging. We don't need that. We needed a beginner's book, though. Oh, looks like my mouse is done. Let's turn this off before it burns. Right. Oh, it's not done yet. Maybe a couple of more minutes. I want to say five, six, seven, maybe ten minutes. Looks like, oh, we have a visitor. All right, let's turn this off because it looks like we have a visitor. Let's open up the door, see the neighborhood. Okay, only a couple of zombies. All right, let's see if we can pull this neighbor over here. Hello, neighbor, how you doing? So when engaging with a zombie, what you want to do is you want to press space to push them, stand over their body, assert dominance, and then uh, kill them. There you go, you want to stomp on their head. Okay, they have uh, some clothes. Anything else? No, nothing else. Okay, well, I like your hat, so I'm going to wear that. Let's right-click that and wear the hat. Okay, very cute. While we're out here, let's actually try to pull a zombie with a watch so I could tell the time. It's very common for zombies to have watches on them. So let's see. When you're engaging with a zombie, what you want to do is you want to back up and uh, you can left click to stab them, push them down. And if they're not falling, just keep on trying. Just press space to stomp on their face. Stab her. It looks like she got a, she has a screwdriver on her. Okay. Stomp on her. Okay. Let's uh, see what she got over here. We got a screwdriver. Nice. Excellent. And a polo neck sweater. We're going to wear this because of the scratch defense. All right, we have another zombie here. So again, left click, keep pressing space to push. Wait until she falls. Come on. There we go. And stomp on her head. There we go. Looks like she had a butter knife on her. Long denim shorts. We're going to wear that because that's better than what I got right now. Unfortunately, no, none of the zombies had watches on them. Maybe one of them. One of them here does. Let's see. Let's move forward. Seems to be a lot of zombies over here. Okay, let's, let's back up. I don't want to engage with too many zombies. Fighting too many zombies costs energy and, and we're, we don't want to do that we already fought four so we're gonna go back to my little trailer and uh finish looking through the house let's oh we have a sheet in the bathroom and some bandages now sheets are great because you can attach a sheet to a window by right clicking selecting add a sheet oh hey a zombie and um just closing the curtains there you go but she's already seen me so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to open the curtain i'm gonna remove the curtains and i'm gonna let her in how you doing and we're gonna hit space and just stomp on her head do you have a watch no you don't okay no watch That's that's fine. And close this window and enter this room. Let's see what's in here. We have a military t-shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip this because that's going to yield some ripped sheets and ripped sheets are great just in case I get bit. Uh, but let's, let's try not to do that. We got some denim strips and a needle. Needles are good to actually tailor some things. You need a needle to tailor your clothes. And what I mean by tailor your clothes, you can right click a piece of clothing here like this sweater and click inspect. And now you can look at some stuff, but it says you need fabric, needle, and and thread. So we have, we do have a needle, but uh, we need thread. So anyways, let's continue going forward. We have a formal shirt. We don't need that. All right, let's get out of here. Looks like this place is pretty dry. There's nothing else. It's over here. Looks like we have a house, actually. It looks like a two-story house. Perfect, because the goal of the first day for me is to find a safe house. That's what the goal is. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to right-click here, select forage, because I'm going to forage for materials to make a spear. Spears are a really good early game weapon, and you can do that by just foraging. So that's what we're going to do. 
Okay, looks like I'm foraging right here. The zombies see you, they're still gonna come after you, so I would recommend just being aware of your surroundings while you're foraging, because uh, you don't want them to run up on you. That would be bad. Okay, looks like I have a stone and tree branch. What we want is a chipped stone. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. Come on. Oh, we have a zombie with a helmet and a bag. Perfect, because I was actually going to look for a bag. So again, we're going to push this zombie down and stab them in the face real quick and maybe finish them off with a stomp. We're going to wear that hat, put on this satchel, and now we have stuff. Now, see, it looks like I'm carrying a little bit too much. We're going to put all the stuff in the satchel and click the crafting menu. Let's see if I can make a spear. Look, oh, looks like I can make a spear now. So we're going to do that. Let's make a spear. Nice. Now that we have a spear, we can attach this with both hands and move forward. Looks like I'm getting real thirsty. So let's uh, take this zombie out and check out that house. Now, spears are pretty good because sometimes you can get a instant kill with uh, with a spear, but they're not, they're not that durable. They can break easily. So that's a really big horde. Let's pull them one at a time though. Let's do that. If anything, I might have to go back to my trailer to deal with these zombies. That was one kill. Let's take this other zombie out. Come on. Come on. Hello, ma'am. How are ya? Let's uh, push her down. Stomp on her head. Anything else? Oh, looks like I pulled three of them. It okay, looks like I pulled three of them. Let's drop this satchel because it's kind of heavy and I don't want to be carrying too much. Let's take these zombies out. Okay, that's one. Okay, he's up. Smack him. My spear just broke, but that's fine because I took them out. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another spear. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, take my bread knife out. Let's close this menu and stomp on their head. There we go. Let's see if actually one of them has a watch. Oh, he has a watch. Okay, left wrist. It's 1.30 p.m. Let's wear this denim shirt. Fine, he has a hoodie on him and a ja another jacket. We're going to wear this jacket for the defense. So normally I like to watch the uh, Life and Living channel at 12 p.m. because there is a an episode for carpentry, but uh, looks like I missed that one. That's okay. There's another one showing at 6 p.m. And if everything pans out, I can make... I can make that one. Let's craft another spear. Get this spear going. Let's eat this ice cream because I am thirsty and hungry. And that should that should help me out a little bit, hopefully. Eat that. We have some coffee. Let's get this spear out here. Where's my spear? Drop this spear right here in both hands. And let's go to this house. Hopefully this house has a sink. Let's continue forward. Let's pull one zombie at a time. There we go. There we go. One at a time. One at a time. Oh, looks like I pulled two, but that's fine. Let's take this one out. Stand on her. Take this guy out. Stomp on her head and take this guy out. Okay, push him down. That's fine. Oh, looks like my spear broke. So spears are good, but they're not very durable. Okay, let's drop this spear. There's another zombie here. Okay, left click. Push him down and stab him in the face. Let's go. Okay. Looks like uh, no one else is around. There are a couple of zombies over here, though. I believe one zombie. So we're going to go around here. Hopefully there's no more zombies. Uh, let's open this window. Hopefully there's no alarm. Okay, no alarm. Good. I'm going to close this window and drink some water. Hold on. Make, let me make sure there's no zombies in here. Okay. All right. Now, nice. Fill this mug of water. Drink some water. Oh, so thirsty. Fill the mug of water again. We got some cigarettes in here. Nice. Let's take a... Oh, oh my gosh. We have an axe. Let's equip of that, a hammer, and a saw. All right, we have a lot of essential tools. A saw and a hammer are excellent. If you found a saw and a hammer on the first day, it's you're, you're set. We have a duct tape too. Nice. I can use duct tape to repair uh, my spear. We have some food in here. Okay, so far this place looks good. Let me make sure that uh, there's no there's no zombies in here though. Let's secure the inside of the house. Wow, can't believe we found a saw and a hammer. That's pretty lucky. All right, hello? Anyone home? Anybody home? Nobody home. Okay, looks like there's nobody home, which is perfect. Okay, good. This is going... Uh, okay, so this is going to be my base, or at least my temporary safe house. So what I'm going to do is uh, just get all my stuff from outside. Let's drop all of my things right here. We're going to drop everything right here and uh, go outside. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab I'm gonna grab my bag from outside and take care of these zombies out here. Da -da -da. Hello, sir. How you doing? Let's take care of the neighbors. Okay, an axe is great. It's pretty powerful and you could use it to chop down trees. How you doing, ma'am? All right, push her down and stab her. 
Okay, there we go. Nice. Black digital watch. That's nice. Let's take care of this zombie. Looks like they have a scissor. And scissors are good because I can cut strips off of clothing. All right, so I saw black digital watch. This, a digital watch is good because it's better than my current watch because it can actually tell me the temperature and the date. So this has an alarm. We're going to turn this off because we don't want um, the alarm to go off. And uh, we're going to unequip this watch because I don't need this right now. All right, next, let's get our bag. We're going to get our bag here. Let's uh, equip our bag and our back. I have a couple of chip stones and a spear. Anything else here? Nope, nothing else. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to, let's go back to this house. What's in here? Oh, we have a needle and rip sheets. We already have a needle, but it's okay. We have some socks in here. We're going to actually use these socks and craft a sheet rope. That's what we're going to do. So basically sheet ropes are good to um, use from second floors. I'm going to show you what I mean as soon as I find a, an, a couple of nails. Okay, let's take all of our things on the ground. Okay, so basically if you want to se select a bunch of stuff, you left click and then scroll all the way to the bottom, hit shift, and then now you can select everything. So we're going to put everything in my satchel. Looks like I'm carrying a lot, which is actually going to hurt me. So we're going to try not to do that for too long because it's extremely heavy. Uh, Let's dump everything in this room. We're just going to unload everything here. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Looks like I'm thirsty. Go to the second floor bathroom. Drink some water. Mmm. Oh, looks like there's some beta blockers and vitamins in here. That's good. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, uh, let's get, let's close these curtains. We don't want zombies peering in. Mm-hmm. Anything in here? Nothing in there. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean uh, with the sheet rope. So let's get this hammer and this saw and this screwdriver. And let's go over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this. So hopefully this will yield a couple of nails. Let's click the time controls and speed up a little bit. No nails, but we got a plank. That's okay. Let's disassemble this table. Let's hit the control speed up a little bit. Let's see. We have a couple of nails. Okay, great. All right. So now that we have that, let's go get our sheet ropes. Actually, let's check here. Oh, hey, we have some jeans. Nice. All right. Let's take this dress and make a sheet rope. Nice. Okay. Now we have some sheet ropes. We're going to open this window, right click it, and now we can add an escape rope. Look at that. So basically what that means is I can jump out and shimmy down the escape rope. That way there's another place for me to, uh, another way for me to get inside. I'm actually going to disassemble this, this table here. Be mindful that disassembling does make noise. So zombies, if they're around, will come to this location. But let's go back up here. Let's go inside because it's 5.30 and I'm hungry. Let's close this window and let's get out of here. Okay, so far so good. All right, let's go out here. Let's go downstairs, get some food and prepare for the life and living show. Da, 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 da. All right, what's in here? We have some fresh ham. That's good. And some steak. Let's go and let's eat this entire thing of ham. You know what? Let's put this steak back. We don't need that much steak. And let's head straight to the TV and watch life and living. Da, da, da. Turn this on. Make sure the volume's not too loud and select life and living. And while that's playing, let's check out this bookshelf. Okay. Nope. We got a magazine and some books. That'll help reduce some boredom. What's oh, the fishing? My fishing is going to level up. That's nice. Anyways, what's in here? Nothing. Okay, let's continue checking out this whole place. I have a couple of butter knives in here. That's okay. Uh, looks like I'm thirsty. I just leveled up my fishing. We have some steak, can of oats, an empty bowl. We can make oatmeal. What else? Anything else? An empty white mug. I'm going to take this and... We're going to fill this with water. That's what we want to do. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do, it's 6.20 p.m. I'm going to uh, select this tooltip right here and select pick up. And we're going to pick up this television and this table. And we're going to move it upstairs. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go upstairs because uh, we don't want to be down here. Now that I have my escape rope, being uh, upstairs is is best. So let's see, let's let's hit place and select the TV. Let's put the TV right here. It already has a chair. Yeah, let's put it right here. Excellent. Good job. Now that I have my can of oats and all of my food in here, we're going to drop this here. Take some nails. We don't need the sheet rope. Where is my stuff here? House key, vitamins, beta blockers. We have a saw. All right, let's get out of here and let's secure the perimeter. Okay, let's just make sure that uh, there are no zombies in the area. We're going to put, I'm actually going to put this axe on my back and we're going to make sure no zombies are around. 
Let's take a look. Any zombies in the neighborhood? No. What about this side? One tip to move around is you right click, select walk to, and now you can walk wherever you click on the screen, on the green square. You can go to there. All right. Looks like we have no zombies. And you could speed up time, which helps um, with movement. Oh, we got a couple of zombies here. So let's take these zombies out because they're too close to my base. Okay. Hello, sir. How you doing? Okay. Take them out. Oh, we have a zombie right here. Hello, ma'am. Nice beret, for sure. Let's see what they got on them. More watches. All right, what I'm gonna do, there's a zombie right there, but we're gonna ignore her. Let's, gonna, let's cut down this tree, okay? We're gonna cut down some trees. Let's uh, speed this process up a little bit. I'm gonna cut down some more trees because I'm gonna need some planks. All right, good. I think that's enough. Uh, cutting down trees does make noise, but I guess that zombie didn't hear me. All right, now let's go to the crafting menu and select carpentry. Now we can saw the logs. See, this is exactly why getting a saw early is uh, is important because you can make planks. Now let's speed this up real quick. Let's uh, you can you can hit B and then it'll open up the crafting menu. Let's make some logs. Okay, now we're gonna grab all these planks. Put this in my satchel. We are going to bring this inside. So let's see, we have a couple of nails here. Let's barricade these windows. All you need is a couple of planks, a couple of nails, and a hammer. I don't think I have enough nails for this, but we'll make do. We'll make do with what we got. Okay, definitely not enough nails. We can always disassemble some things or find a box of nails somewhere, and uh, that should give us that should give us some nails. We could disassemble furniture, and that should help with the nail problem. Now let's get these planks. Let's go inside. Dump these planks uh, inside the house. Bum, 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 da, da, da. So this is an ideal first day, pretty much. Finding a two-story home and making sure it's safe. Okay, we have tons of planks in here. Let's unload because I'm hurting myself. <laughs> yeah, that, that hurt a little bit. Carrying too much, too heavy. So let's drink some water and fill up the mug. Actually, you know what? Another way to secure the area is by moving furniture. So we're going to actually move this table. We're going to place the table. Oh, actually, it broke in pieces. So we're going to take this table here. Okay, hold on. There we go. And now we're going to place this table by the door. Let's pick up this chair because it's in the way. Put this chair down right here. Yeah, so you can always pick up and move furniture to uh, better defend your base. Let's put this on the ground here. Okay, and there we go. Now that's going to stop any zombies from coming in. They can still break down the door and they can still break down the table, but it's going to buy us some time. All right, looks like I'm tired. I'm exhausted. So we're going to right click this and rest because I'm... I'm tired. It's 11 p.m. Haven't really barricaded the house, but that's okay. That's going to be an ongoing project. Make myself some steak. Let's turn this on. Hit the settings and uh, let's hit 15 minutes. There we go. And we're going to grab this steak, put this in the oven. Looks like it's cooking. Nice. And while that's cooking, let me disassemble some chairs. Let's speed this up. Oh. That was it. Is it ready? Almost ready. Let's do for another four minutes. Let's disassemble this chair. Oh, looks like hello. Fresh cooked. There we go. Let's turn this oven off and eat some food. Delicious. And disassemble some chairs. Uh, we got some nails out of that. That's good. Okay. Let's disassemble some stuff. Now let's grab these nails. Grab the nails. And we have some planks here. And uh, what you can actually do is you can actually barricade from the inside as well. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to barricade from the inside. You can barricade both sides, the inside and outside. So let's just barricade a couple of things from the inside. Let's grab some planks. Okay, that's good enough. Let's barricade this window here. The zombies don't break in. Da -da -da. Okay, we are, we're out of nails. Okay, so it's 11.50. I think the first day is pretty much done. Pretty good first day so far. I think tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to look for some more tools, some more nails, and just just finish up barricading the rest of this house. But so far, this is the uh, this is the most ideal first day anyone really would want. Okay, now before I go to sleep, let's set an alarm because I want to wake up before the next life in living. So we're gonna hit uh, we're gonna select 5:40. Actually, we're gonna select 5:50. We're gonna click the alarm and that should wake us up. We're gonna hit the lights. Turn off the lights in here. Let's turn off this lamp. All right, let's go to sleep. Well, we did it. We survived the first day with some food, water, tools, and most importantly, shelter. If you were in my shoes, what would you have done differently today? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.